Hey guys, first up to date video about Supernatural Season 6. Every single review was done pretty much in the first month of January when I got COVID, so I had nothing else to do, but I actually left the best and the worst episode reviews right up until I was done, up until the season review came out, because I didn't know if possibly my opinion would change. In fact, it actually did. Not for the worst. The worst have always been pretty solid, but some of the best will be different. But first of all, I just want to say thank you guys for all of your comments, all of the views, all of the engagement that you've done with the reviews up until this point. It's been really cool to see you guys still have and want to have a conversation about Supernatural, despite the fact that the show's been over for two years now. So it was really fun to talk about this with you guys. Without further ado, let's get into the top five worst episodes of Supernatural Season 6. Starting with number five, Mommy Dearest. This episode is disappointment and lackluster in a nutshell. You have Eve, who had been slightly built up at this point, but definitely a lot more room to grow. You have the boys in a situation, admittedly under their own stupidity, inside the bar, the restaurant, and they're trapped by mom, and the mom is putting them into another situation, and Dean kind of calls her bluff, and she bites him, and literally a microorganism, a small infinitesimal small amount of phoenix ashes inside Dean's bloodstream kills her. Doesn't wound her, doesn't paralyze her, doesn't take her powers out or anything like that, just straight up kills her. This woman has the worst allergic reaction of all time and it's a very weak cop-out. Because there was so much more that could have been done with this character, but as was the constant confusion and rotation with season six is they didn't know who to nail it on. They didn't know who to really keep the story focused on. There were so many different plot lines happening in this season. One of the main ones was going to have to take a hit for the other. And in this case, Castiel's war with heaven takes purpose or takes, try takes center stage after Eve is very unceremoniously killed because they realize that they have a much more interesting ending coming up in theory. There are some funny bits in this episode, don't get me wrong, when there's the seven guys, seven of the same guy in that one room, that was funny. The fact that Dean literally calls Eve's bluff and she bites him, that was a nerve-wracking moment. But there's just so much stupid planning in this episode. The kids being the, oh no, how could we have known, was so fucking obvious. It was, uh, it, I could see it a mile away. And a very unfortunate end to a character. Eve is probably going to go down as one of the most underused and the biggest what could have been villains to me that Supernatural could have ever had. That's why that episode is number five in my list. Number four. Number four is Let It Bleed. Yes, the other unceremoniously ending of another group of characters, that being Lisa and Ben. These two were just unfortunately just terribly written in this entire show. They were so poorly put together. They were so poorly interspaced without throughout the season it's a real shame too because they had the potential to maybe be something more than just kid and woman association to dean and sure you do have that unfortunate and very maybe slightly attempt at heart-wrenching ending with dean having their memories wiped by castiel the only problem is and I think that they were hoping the people, the writers were hoping that people wouldn't think this, just because they don't know who Dean is anymore doesn't mean that everyone else doesn't know who they are. So they could still just be used once again for hostage shit. Crowley could use them for hostages again, and it wouldn't matter that they don't know who Dean is. Dean knows who they are and he's gonna feel guilty about it. I feel that they just took the laziest and easiest way out for these characters. Instead of killing them off, I don't think they wanted to do that, but they couldn't think of any other way to really get rid of them. So they went with this route, and it's a very kind of disappointing end to a already disappointing addition to the story, the overall story of season six. A lot of people wanted this, but just the attempt at drama, danger, and uh, heart compelling moments that this episode tries to provoke out of the audience does not work at all because you don't give a single shit. And that's why that episode is number four on my list. Number three, All Dogs Go to Heaven. This episode is so bland. It's so poorly put together and it's unfortunate because there is an interesting dilemma that is going on with the main dog that they're following. He actually genuinely cares about the family that he's been inserted in as a uh, terrorist cell, if you want to put it that way. And he actually does care about them. And there are some very strange and 
very kind of questioning ideals of what he's doing, whether it's the right thing or not, and his association with his family. Thank God Solus Sam is in this episode and he trolls this guy for a good long bit. Do you like to play with your food? Roll over, Lucky. Speak. Go to hell. Already been. Didn't agree with me. Because if this wasn't in this episode, nothing else helps it. The action is terribly shot, terribly put together. There's no real kind of interest in the pack, which it should be a cool idea because this is a terrorist cell of werewolves or were dogs or whatever it is. That should have been interesting. Yet it wasn't. And this is something to say considering this exact story frame would be near on copied in season 14 and people somehow forget that fucking shit and it's even worse than that one so to say this one's really bad too is already something it's to say that 14 somehow even did it worse but all dogs go to heaven just doesn't have a good story to it it doesn't have compelling characters it doesn't have any good action Probably the best shot of this entire episode is the dog walking away at the very end, and that's it. And that's the only part that I'll remember of this episode. Otherwise, it's forgettable, it's boring, you don't care. And that's why it's number three. Number two is Exile on Main Street. This is by far the worst season opener I think that I've watched in recent years of Supernatural. That's even including the Andrew Dabb episodes. This one sucks. It doesn't get you into the season whatsoever. It doesn't explain itself. It's very vague. It's very trying to put things together, but without actually having all of the information. And that makes sense because Weekend at Bobby's was most likely filmed first. That episode was Jensen Ackles first directing gig. Apparently for every time that Jensen would ever direct an episode, his would come first in the lineup of which episode was shot first. So you shoot the episode that's four in, which is why that episode is so freaking vague with a lot of its ideas. But then you have the season starter being shot secondhand and it just shows that they don't have a clear idea. Sam is strange, but also not fully explained. There's just a lot of things that are thrown into this episode. It's like they took a bunch of ideas, threw it at a wall, and whatever stuck they went with and they're like you know what we'll explain it later it's a very very poor excuse for an opener the whole idea of openers is to get audiences back into the want to watch this show you already had probably one of the best season finales you were ever going to get from the show really truly it was the best season finale you were ever going to get from the show and you follow it up with one of the worst episodes to start a season in supernatural history the, the the pendulum swung right through the fucking wall when it came to this episode and that is not a good thing so that is why exile on main street is number two on the worst list and now number one most of you probably kind of guessed this from the outset but it's mannequin three the reckoning holy shit this episode is so goddamn bad i don't know how time for a wedding in season seven is going to be worse this episode has no commitment to what it wants to be at first it starts off you think it's a monster episode but no then it's a ghost episode but it's not really a ghost episode it's about a girl who got bullied and somehow came back as a ghost and is killing these guys who are very strange and cgi means all the while there's her sister who's associated with her and she's alive because of her ghost kidney that is then killed with the worst example of physics i've ever seen in my life you have very poor humor in this episode. You have no care for anyone, including the main characters or any of the affected characters. You have an ending that is just plain fucking dumb and disrespecting the audience without even blinking. And on top of that, this is an episode that you could skip and nothing would happen. Nothing truly story related is involved in this episode. It means fucking nothing. It is a horrible episode you should not watch it the worst episode of supernatural i have seen went from in my reviews in my rerunning of seasons one to six this is the worst one i hate this episode it sucks but those are my thoughts about what are the worst episodes of supernatural season six 
please put your top five worst in the comment section below and let's start a discussion about that and of course the top five best will be coming out next week so make sure to check in with that video so you guys can see what are my top five and then we'll start a discussion about your guys' top five when that video comes out as well. Anyways, guys, thank you again for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you guys next week when we have 100% finished season six. And then I will kind of maybe come up with an idea of when I'm gonna start season seven. But we'll see. I just finished editing a wedding video that was near on two hours long. So forgive me if I'm a little slow. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. See you guys next time.